That break that's the El Clasico between Real Madrid and Barcelona at the new camp. Well, Barcelona lost that game. That's after the era of Sadio Ramos and the goats, Lionel Messi. Well, that as it may, um, the second round is coming up. We'll see what happens at the Bernabeu. Still within Sport Matters, Tayo and Joel, stay right here in the studio with me. We'll be talking some boxing. The issue we're about raising has been uh, an issue over a decade plus. And the man in question is a Nigerian. He feels he wants to put the name of the country in the Guinness Book of Record. That has been the momentum, the drive he has been having over the years. It's not a person, Dan, O-O-N, Bash Ali, Joel. This man believes he's been denied his right. Because there's an angle to this right now. We'll talk about that angle, but Bash Ali believes he's not been given total attention. Well, I, I, I think there's, um, there's, there's a problem somewhere. I, I wonder where we're getting it wrong right now. Because he keeps claiming, look, why said this, the president said that, the president said that, but right now the president is still alive. He's not coming out to say, this is exactly what I said. No, the president. Yes. Why would the president come out to say this is exactly what I said? Yeah, because he's, he's, Wait. he's, he's been fronting him with the president. Uh, 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 the president uh, uh, gave, gave, gave an instruction. Look, in our society, if it was to be in the U.S., yeah. the former president of America, in person of Donald Trump, who hold a press conference, I didn't say that, I said this, but in our own culture, yeah, no president, no sitting president will come out and say, I said this or said that. There are people designated to do that. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I think that I, I think he, he got it wrong. There has, there has to be something on paper, you know, for everybody to see. If you're claiming you want some money from the sport ministry to do this, you know, put Nigeria. That's the big money. question. Does it have a proof that money was released That's to the sport ministry? Talking about. He, has to, he, he can't just wake up and Because, go listen, the listen, probably for Nigerians, there's a history to this Bash Ali issue. It started right from the time of Obasanjo. Yeah. Obasanjo gave his nod, and um, certain issues cropped up, it was laid to rest. When Jonathan came in, he also gave his nod. And suddenly, Buari came in, he has also given his nod. But, but, but the issue now remains, between Dalong and Dari, there's a dichotomy. Now, has Bash Ali gotten a written document? Now, for you, Tayo, it, it, it's, it's something which has to do with business. Boxing is big business. Even if Bashar Ali is saying he wants to do the country a favor, he's so sure the person is going to knock out. I don't know if he's already arranged him somewhere. I don't know about that. But the person is going to knock out his waiting and he wants that fight to take place here in Nigeria. The federal government should support it. But for me, I think boxing is big business. But you can't take away such ventures from the government angle too. From the minister's office back then. So all these things, like he said, uh, fine. Like you have said, in our culture, the president may not necessarily come. But the truth is, if the president has made a statement, maybe one of the chief um, press secretary have said, truly, this and this and <laughs> Because the whole thing looks like just a mere allegation mm. that he's trying to. Um, uh, Take the image of the sports ministry, mm. so, and the, the man is not finding it for it. So, but let's just go to the truth and get to the root of it. Because if he does not have a written document, there is no way he can prove, prove that the, a certain amount of money was released. was released. Now, Joel, the minister is angered. The minister feels his name is being battered. He's suing Bash Ali for five billion, not five million, not five hundred, five billion naira. Is it outrageous, or it is just a way to scare Bashali off his back? Probably I think it's a way to scare Bashali off his back. Because for God's sake, where would Bashali cover out such an amount of money? You know, even if he has to box like Don Joshua, I don't think he has such an amount of money in his account. But there has to be, you see, behind every derogatory statement, so to speak, there's a moment of truth in it. Right now, this man is saying, look, you took money from me. Provide documents to show you he actually took money from me. Hold on. Bashali says... The minister took money from yeah, him. Yeah, he has taken millions of naira from him. Evidence. That's what I'm talking about. You have to bring witnesses. Them. You can't just say, say, say things and you know they just let it fly. You have to bring witnesses. You know, for this evidence. Not in court. If, if, if the evidence are justifiable, for God's sake, yeah, fine. Probably money has to be returned and all that. But let's just wait and see what turns out of this. For you, Tayo, do you think this fight will ever hold? Because we've had three administrations down the prowl. Still, the history-making Guinness Book record has not 
seen the broader light about organization, about spotlight, because there was a time an advert came up. Yes, sincerely speaking, during Jonathan period, an advert came up and it was like he will knock him out. Nigeria will be the Guinness Book of Record, just with there is Bash Ali. Suddenly that advert died. But do you really think this fight will come up? But he still believes that he's the oldest man in boxing. Is, yes. if, if he attempts to go into the ring, that might be it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to ask the people who is the oldest man fighting. Because I don't, I don't think his name is still in the books. No, he's no. A heavyweight fighter, so uh, no, he, no, he's not a heavyweight fighter. He's a cruiser weight. Yes, he's a cruiser weight. He's quite different from the heavyweight. Yeah, but he said he wants to put in the, um, the number of Nigeria. Players. Yes, as the oldest man who ever boxed on the ring. It's not a bad one. He has to face top. I mean, something like that. And you can fund it now. Really? Uh huh. With super spring. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how it pans out. Bash Ali is angry. The sport minister is angry. And there's a new twist to the whole event. The sport minister says, "For slandering my name, five billion naira is what I want from Bash Ali." So we'll see how this drama eventually spans out. Talking about drama, the Nigerian Basketball Federation is getting set for his election right here in Benin. And the committee put in place is assuring all stakeholders, all participants of a credible, I mean, credible electoral process that will be fair to everybody. So let me start with you. Um, I don't want to personalize it, but it has gotten to a stage where some of our colleagues have taken side, that's their own business. But the sport is suffering and the election to take place. Do you really think we'll have a credible election in Benin? Let me ask you as a journalist. Well, with the crisis on ground, I don't think so, because the, the, the truth is they're supposed to clear up the crisis before going go, go for the election. Mm. Because you can't just have crisis hanging on some people, and these people, set of people, still want to stand in for the election. So I see no reason why the election should hold now. Fine, we should still have the election, but this issue of unpaid salary, some money are missing, all those things need to be cleared mm. first. Then you can now go ahead with the election. Because if another person comes in, you know the situation of the country, mm. the, 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 uh, the board coming to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the Federation will tell you, I was not the one. <laughs> the, <laughs> so I was the usual the scenario. For you, Joel, um, basketball has become um, a sudden uprise sports wise. Everybody looks up to basketball. It's now um, a synchronism where we can really showcase what we have as talent. We've been there, we've seen it all. Our girls and boys are doing pretty well. Do you really think basketball will find its footing after this election? Now, you talked about, you know, uh Imagine when you get signed on when you go to play the NBA and all that. But I know they are processing. But talking about the election um, in Benin, oh well, yeah, there's gonna be, there's, there's gonna be an election definitely. But I hope they're gonna allow the press to be there. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be a closed door thing. And the, and what the contenders for God's sake? Is it Muzaki the, the, the two factions and all that? Yes, there's a crisis of somewhere. But I, I think that's a prelude to ending that crisis because the major crisis is not get. I mean, funds are not being paid, which is not being paid to these girls, which is not right. And um, the last time we heard was that Musa Kid has been called by the committee. Look, what happened to those funds? And the ministry is saying, yeah, everything is fine. The money is somewhere. Or the, the matter for the account from the girls. I think it's, it's, it's important we speak to one of these girls to really find out if those money have been paid. But let's just wait till the election finishes. Then probably it's going to be a prelude to ending the crisis. Okay, now, now, now that you've raised that issue, I'm going to do my very best to ensure that I, I think I have the contact of the captain. The captain. Yes, I will would, I would try to put up a call so that we can I, have... I, I, Okay. Um, okay. Really, um, speak with her and find out because I have a number and we talk, you know, often. So. All right. We'll see what we can do to bring the real, true fact of this matter to Nigerians. Let's go to some other sports, and this time we're talking motorsports, and that is one of my exciting, very, very exciting uh, field of sports. I love speed, so when I drive, I think about Lewis Hamilton. But this time it is Max Verstappen that is showing that he is. A man to beat in this season. He won it in the US with 12 point gap. Ty, do you think Lewis can catch up with him? Definitely. Lewis. Five more races to go. Yes. One thing about that guy that I don't understand is he's just like Mario. He's always playing my game. So he wants uh, Vasco to have 
to save all the moments. Really? Yeah, when he wants Mercedes and all that. <laughs> so the guy is coming back strong. Mm. Although this guy is giving a very good fight mm. and he's showing that what uh, Amity can do, he can also do. But definitely, you know, Amity is a legend. He doesn't have anything to prove, but I still feel he's still coming back strong. Joel, as a defending champion, uh, I've watched some of the races. He's been penalized severely this season, and there have been a lot of accidents. One of the biggest problems with the Moto um, uh, GP race is that some of the contestants try to raise the bar of their engine speed so that it could meet up with that of Mercedes. Because give it to Mercedes, they have one of the best engine right in the F1 uh, series. But for Lewis Hamilton, as the defending champion, do you think he will feel? Easily disposed if he loses the title this time around. He's not going to feel disposed. Of course, he has done it. He has seen it all. He has done everything. He has, you know, um, walked past uh, uh, Michael Schumacher and all that. This, this is this man is a true champion. Mm. I think it's really around one that it's really, I can't just be winning all. Why don't you just go in that deal thing? And, do you think so? Yeah, yeah. You think so? <laughs> I, I know so. Um, and this man, this this is ten years ago. Um, how many is is thirty thirty four? And this other guy is twenty six or twenty four. So. Um, no, no, age has nothing to do with it. I know, but it, it, I, if you I look remember, at my shoemaker, he said, look, he said, look I, I, I'm not going to race to 40. So probably he's going to like, he's, he's giving way for these young guys to come up, you know. But you have people like Bottas there also. You have um, this other guy that took second race yesterday. So it's, it's not a mind game. It's, it's gradually facing out. All right, we'll see how it goes. Five more races to go for the season. Who takes up the maximum points becomes a champion. Lewis Hamilton could just do it, like Tyler's rightly said in here. Oh, as Vaspastin could also hold on, he has 12 points gap between himself and Lewis Hamilton. How will it span out? Time will tell. Quickly, we'll go on this break. We'll come back. We'll be going straight to Europe. So much to talk about. So much to look into, especially with the wickedness Chelsea displayed uh, on Saturday. We'll be right back. Ole, how would you